Hello everybody, my name is Frostbite, and welcome back to Terraria. Now, this video, I'm doing a little bit differently because I completely forgot to check whether or not my microphone was recording, and it turns out that for the entire time, I did not have my microphone turned on. So the entire time, my voice was not recording. The game was recording, but my voice was not. So it turns out that I had to go back over my video in post-editing and record my voice over that. Uh, it, it tacked a lot more time on to my video that I really did not have, I did not have time to spend on this. But I wasn't going to record for like 20, 30 minutes and not upload. I wasn't going to do that. So I'm, I'm recording the audio of me talking over this. And as you can see in the video, um, I'm just kind of defending my house against the monsters at nighttime because I didn't exactly have a lot of options as to what to do because not only was it super dark, but uh, the monsters just kept spawning everywhere, which made it nearly impossible to move around. Like, as you could see, like they, cr like, they were all just stuck right outside my door. So when I went to go in, and like when I went to go outside to get something done, like to chop down a tree or something, they were all right there. And then there are also little floaty demon eyes that just made everything ten times worse. But not only do I have my sword, but I also have the uh, the yo-yo uh, I got, the uh, rally. It's actually really, really good. It really helps when it comes to like um ranged attacks yeah microphone uh microphone uh i'm sorry i'm just i'm all over the place right now uh but yeah as you can see my zealous rally uh the one in the uh the rightmost slot it's a really good weapon uh it's really good it has a lot of range um and it's a bit of a staple because my sword is good but then to get the little flying eyeballs, I use the rally. Just because it makes everything so much easier. Um, yeah. As you can see, right now I'm just kind of fighting off all the monsters. And just waiting for a uh, time to pass. And as you can see, I got on my wood. Because... Um, because one of the things I wanted to do this episode was... I wanted to make another house. Because I wanted to get another NPC to move in. And in order to get an NPC to move in, you need to you need to build a, another house. And the requirements have to be really specific. You need to have it needs to be six by ten or ten by six. Uh, I don't. I, I really don't know the difference. Um, but either way, it needs to be a certain size. Um, there has to be a table, a chair, and a light source. There have to be background walls, and you can't have more than one NPC in a room at a time. So, you can't have two in the same room. It's a very specific requirement, and one that takes a lot of time and effort to work around. And for a little while, I wasn't sure whether or not I had gotten the size right. Like, there were a few moments where I wasn't sure. I, I thought it was too small. But later on, you'll see that I checked to make sure there's a little button you can press that allows you to make sure whether or not the uh, house you made is actually gonna have an NPC spawn in. NPC. And yeah, that's what I said. NPC. Uh, it'll make sure that it'll help you make sure that your house is the right size. And as you can see, I equipped the uh, white string because that actually makes your yo yo, it makes its range longer. So. My thing already has insane range, but with the yo-yo uh, string, it makes things it makes things even it makes it even more epic. And you see that little thing in the uh, on the topmost corner of the house, that little owl thing. When that thing started hooting, I wasn't sure whether that was in the game or in real life. I actually I actually went I actually looked out my window to check and make sure if if it was real or not and sure enough there were no birds outside so turns out it was just in the game and as you can see i'm uprooting the floor of my house because i wanted to put down some wood floor um and it kind of uprooted everything 
it kind of knocked the guide out of his house for a little bit. And that was kind of annoying, because I, I don't want him to die. Because that would be really frustrating. He, he's frustrating to deal with. But even more frustrating if he dies, because then you have to wait. I, I'm assuming you'd have to wait. Zombies are just so loud. They never stop, girl. They're, they're, they, they never stop. It's just... Yeah, you can see me using my yo-yo there. And as you can see, it's really effective. Like, abnormally effective. Alright, just came today. The last of the monsters are getting mopped up. The owl flew away, which I didn't actually notice um, until I... until I ran the footage back. Um, yeah, owls are nocturnal, so of course it'd fly away. Alright, as you can see, I'm uprooting the floor. Placing in the new floor. I know, it's so exciting, right? Uh, yeah, there's a little hole in the uh, wall that I had to fix up, which I did. It was it, it was pretty easy. Um, but then I had to lay in all the furniture again. Uh, so I had to put the doors back in. I had to put the uh, the table back down, and I had to put the chair down as well. And that little slime right there didn't exactly make my life a whole lot easier. I mean, not that it mattered, I killed it in one hit. My sword is amazing. Like, seriously. It's insane how good that thing is. Uh, as I'm putting, as you can see, I'm putting the, uh, chair and the, uh, the, uh, t workbench back in. And this kind of made the, uh, the guy go back into his house. Because now that house is actually a valid house, and he was able to move back in. Uh... And as you can see, I'm scrolling through the, uh, the uh, crafting grid because I need to craft another door and I need to craft another table and chair in order to make the uh, house livable. I put it down. I need to put the walls. The walls still need to go in. Um, and as you can see, I, I'm kind of about to run out, so I need to go back out and get some more trees. Don't you just hate it when you leave a project half-finished? Like... Don't you hate it when it just looks like that, and you actually have to run out and get more materials, and then come back in, and it's just a total nightmare? Yeah, I don't like it either. But, I mean, what are you gonna do? So, uh... Yeah, I'm going into my chest, because my inventory's a mess. Yeah, and I pressed the deposit all button. I didn't realize that was a thing until I pressed it. Now, if you notice, I forgot to get my, uh, yo-yo and a couple other things. And as you'll see later, um, I have to go back and pick it back up. So I'm putting everything down. I am picking up the torch. I'm putting the chair in. And, god, those doors are really, really kind of loud. I craft some more wood walls. And I go ahead and I put the walls back in. I'm not gonna lie, this is really, really bizarre. This is the first time I've ever had a uh, issue like this where the uh, microphone audio doesn't record. Um, th th this has never happened before. It's completely new and it was super frustrating at first. I, I freaked out at first because I was like, oh my god, it, it didn't load. I'm gonna have to go back and put the microphone audio back over, and I considered scrubbing the entire thing, but then I was like, no, because if I do that, then it'll be like, where did all this stuff come from? Where did, where did I get all of these new materials? Where did I, where did I get all these new things? So I just grit my teeth, I, I record, I'm recording the audio, and I, I'm just gonna deal with it. Um, and as you can see, I'm going out to explore, uh, I really appreciated those little, uh, the little, uh, flock of birds in the background. Uh, this game, it's very basic in design, but the little, uh, it, it's the little fine details that really make it stand out. And as you can see, I'm heading back to my house because I'm only just noticing that I forgot my yo-yo. This is why you gotta make sure that you pick up everything that you put down. If you, if you go out to explore, and you don't have the right materials, you, you could be on the receiving end of a total wipeout. Uh, and I'm also grabbing that sapphire gem corn, 
because um, because I wasn't sure where I'd plant it. I tried to plant it in the ground earlier, and it didn't work. So um, I figured if I could plant it in the stone, then maybe it'll grow into something. And I also grabbed the money because because in order to get one of the NPCs to move in, the merchant, I, yeah, the merchant, his name's the merchant. Um, in order to get him to move in, you need to have 50, 50 silver coins. And there's me grabbing the yo-yo, because I forgot it, because I have about two brain cells collectively. And off I go to explore, I think. Yeah, I'm going to explore and plant the gem corn to see, because I didn't know if the gem corn actually worked, but as you can see, in a few seconds, you'll see that it actually does work in a really weird way. Yeah, I just planted a gem into the ground like a plant. Wait, hang on. Okay, I just made sure that I had my microphone on again because if I was recording this again and I didn't have the microphone turned on, I, 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 I swear I would. If that was the case, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached to my neck. Like, how could I make the same mistake twice? I mean, then again, that often does happen with me. But the point is, I learned, and I learned from my mistake, I corrected it, and now I can move on with my life. So, as you can see, I'm at the bottom of the lake. How dark is, how deep down is the bottom of that lake? Like, seriously, that is super deep. Uh, but as you can see, I'm exploring. That little double jump thing really makes my whole life just so much easier. It makes it so much easier to get to high places um, if I'm stuck in a deep cave. Um, everybody at some point in a video game needs to get themselves like a double jump uh, item or some kind of like flying item. Just because not only does it make exploring easier, but it also makes like getting out of tight spaces super easy. Like say you got stuck in the bottom of like a really deep pit. A, a double jump thing could make your life so much easier. Alright, now we're arriving to one of the creepiest locations so far in this game. The Crimson. As you can see, the background completely changed, the music changed, and it's just absolutely disgusting. When I, when I saw this place, like, look at that thing. That thing is terrifying. When I saw this place, I completely froze. It, like, it's such a sudden and drastic shift in tone from, like, okay, here's a good forest, here's a lake. Now, here is a pit of just despair and disgust. Like, the land looks like it's rotting. It looks like, like the corpse of some giant creature. It's absolutely terrifying. The enemies, like, all I saw was that little Crimea guy, and that was enough to terrify me. So I loot everything in that chest, and I think this is where I'm like, no, not yet, I think. Yeah, I go down to that cave, again, incredibly dark. I get attacked by a giant spike, yeah, I, <laughs> I bailed, as any sane person would. Like, if you go into a land that's made of, like, rotting flesh, and, like, it looks like there's just, it looks like the trees are just bleeding, you gotta get out of there as soon as you can. Like, first off, what happened? Uh, anyway, uh, now I'm checking to make sure whether or not that house works. I thought it was too small. Because the, the guy wasn't moving, and he sure was taking a sweet time. But as you can see, the housing was suitable. That one was already occupied by the guide. And it was just taking a while for uh, him to load. And for some reason, the thing counted the entire outside of the world as a house and I'm trying and I'm converting my gold coin into silver coins because it said that you needed 50 gold coins in order to get the guide to move in so that's what I did I converted them into silver coins because I thought that would work and I think it did I don't know whether that was the trigger or not or if the game just decided all right we've waited long enough how about we just let this guy move in because I think as soon as I move into the off screen uh, yeah and there's a happiness thing and I, I don't know what that happiness does but looking back I think it might reduce the prices of like trades or make them give better advice because I looked up online and there is happiness like a happiness meter I don't know if it's really a meter 
Um, but anyway, as you can see, I'm looking through different yo-yo things. Because, like I said, the yo-yo is one of the most versatile weapons I have in the game right now. So, I just... I couldn't craft any of the things, so I just popped it back in my inventory. And now I'm wandering off of the off screen, and I think this is where... Yep. Louis the Merchant just arrived in... Well, I can't even call it a town. It's literally just two boxes. I, I was really hoping that the uh, merchant would be named something like Mike. Because... I don't know, I like alliteration. Alliteration. God, I can't speak. Uh, and as you can see, he's talking about something like, I hope a scrawny kid like you isn't all that's standing between us and Cthulhu's eye. If I have to fight a giant eyeball in this game, I'm closing it down. I will I will close this game and never come back. As you can see, I'm, look, I'm looking through his trades. There's a lot of different things. There's some kind of pylon. I don't know what that does. I think it's a teleporter type thing. I buy the sickle. I, I, I never, you know, I never figured out what the difference is between a sickle and a scythe. I think a sickle is smaller. And I also buy a bug net. I don't know why. And I get attacked by a slime. Like, at this point, I shouldn't even be worried about getting attacked by slimes. The merchant throws knives. Which I think is pretty crazy. I mean, yeah, the guy, the, the guy shoots arrows, but that guy throws knives like some kind of ninja. This old guy with a scraggly beard... It throws knives, which is I think is just insane. And I'm not sure what it was going through my head at this time. I think I may have just been formulating a plan. Like I think I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do up there. Um. Oh, I know what I was doing here. I was gonna flatten the land and make a third house. I don't know who I thought was gonna move in. I was hoping it might have been the nurse, because the guide said in order for the nurse to move in, I need to increase my maximum life maximum life which I did it was at my little hearts were at five and now they're at I can't tell is that six of this uh my hearts are now at seven so I increased my maximum life and I was hoping that a nurse might move in I wonder what she does I think she might heal you like if you get damaged I think she might be able to heal you I'm assuming that you have to pay for it cuz good things in life don't come for free you have to pay for this you gotta you gotta work you gotta work to get what you need to get done. Otherwise, you just... You never learn. You don't learn anything from this experience. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm over here spouting philosophical nonsense while I just... I'm talking about myself playing a video game where I should have been talking, but I didn't. Yeah, this video is a whole nother level of weird. I mean, I can't really say that considering there are three. I think this is my third or fourth. I don't remember. Uh, I think it might be my third. Uh, third Let's Play, and already I'm spouting off like some kind of like Gandhi or someone. Yeah, and I'm getting the furniture. I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I need I needed to chop down some trees because I didn't have enough wood. Um, I wonder. I know you plant the acorns in the ground to get the trees back, but they sure do take their sweet time. Like, I know in Minecraft, you you plant the acorn, or the sapling, and it just grows instantly. And you can bone meal it to make it grow faster. I don't know if there's a bone meal-esque uh, item in this game that you can use to make things grow faster. There probably is, and I'm just too stupid enough to find it. Uh, but, yeah. And as you can see, I was moving all of my... Uh, crafting stations up to the top because I kind of want the top to be like like there's gonna be the houses and then kind of like a little uh like kind of my pad where I just kind of chill and I craft things uh, and as you can see I'm crafting the table I crafted the chair and I needed to craft the door and I'm placing all that down and as I was doing this I was kind of hoping to get it done before nightfall because I don't think NPCs can move in after nightfall. I think once it turns to night, you have to wait until it turns to day, and then you have to wait a little bit more, because it seems like this game goes at like a snail's pace uh, for her to move in, and I just ran out of all of my, uh, I just ran out of all my walls. And I think I may have brought this up in a previous video. The worst feeling in the world in a game 
is when you is when you need is when you're building something and you run out of the material so you have to go out get more uh, crafting things come back craft the thing you need to um, finish the build and then continue building that was loud uh, that is just the worst feeling in the entire world because like I should have been more prepared and I don't know what the two in the uh, cor I don't know what the guide and the merchant are talking about in the corner but they definitely look like they're having some kind of conversation I think as I get more NPCs they'll be able to talk to each other wow they just decimated that slime Oh my gosh. I feel like once I get more NPCs... Okay, it just turned to night. Once I get more NPCs, I'm gonna have like an army. And I'm gonna guess that as you go through the game, uh, the NPCs you get slowly get more and more overpowered until it's like... I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of like wizard that you can get. I'm gonna guess that he's absolutely insane. Like flinging around spells like Harry Potter. Uh... And I don't know what I was doing here. I think I just went to grab those materials. And I think I was going to see what I could craft. Yeah, I go to talk to the guide, and I think I put wood? Yeah, I put wood in the crafting thing, and it unlocks a bajillion separate recipes. Like, I think the uh, guide shows you what you can craft if you have the uh, materials. And as you can see, there's a lot of different things. There's a marshmallow and a stick. I don't know how you get marshmallows, but once I figure out how you do, I'm crafting a ton of them. Like, I love marshmallows, and I love s'mores. And again, who doesn't? Oh, star incoming. There it is. I think those stars can land on enemies and do, like, a bunch of damage. If that's the case, that's pretty insane. Like, could you imagine, like, taking down, like, some insane boss like you have to take down some gigantic boss and then a star just lands on it and KOs it in one hit that'd be nuts uh, yeah and then I defeated the 50th zombie which it's kind of hard to believe I've already defeated 50 zombies in this playthrough and I got this banner and apparently these banners they actually boost your attack and defense when you're around certain mobs. So the zombie banner, it um, increases your attack and defense around zombies. And I just uh, increased my mana. I still don't know what that does. Uh, the mana? I, I don't know what that does. I think you can get... I think you can get, like, magic weapons in the game, and I think that's what the mana is used for. And as you can see, I got a status effect called the banner, and that's the uh, effect that the banners give you. It's kind of weird how an inanimate piece of cloth can give you powers over certain monsters. Then again, this is a game where, as you can see, I'm standing on top of my roof using a yo-yo to defeat a bunch of flying eyeballs. So I wouldn't necessarily call this game normal. Uh, and what am I doing here? I think I'm putting the uh, wood. Yeah, I'm putting the wood back in the thing to see what I can craft. The guide, you know, at first I thought the guide was useless, like, okay, he gives you, uh, materials, like, he'll, he'll give you advice, and that's all he does, but looking back at this, I realized the guide could be one of the most important things in this game, and as you can see, the owl's back, and again, when the owl showed up, I looked out the window to make sure there wasn't an actual owl just sitting outside my window, hooting his face off. Uh, as you can see, I, I think I might be looking for, yeah. I'm looking for a bed, because my reasoning here was, okay, maybe this is like Minecraft, where if you craft a bed and you place it down, you can sleep and skip the entirety of, of the nighttime. Uh, in order to do that, I needed silk and wood, and in order to make silk, you needed cobwebs. So I was checking to make sure how much silk I has, and has, I can has silk, uh, no, but... Um, I was checking to make sure how much silk I have, and I think I had, yeah, I had four, and I needed five. And in order to get the silk, you need cobwebs, which I guess kind of makes sense. Like, cobwebs, I guess you, like, tighten it into, like, thread, and then you use thread to make the silk. Man, it's a really good thing I got that loom from that one underground house. Kind of makes me what, wonder what happened in this like land like so there are houses underground 
where did all the people go? Like, houses don't just pop out of the blue. You don't just snap your fingers and have houses pop out of nowhere. Uh, my running theory is there was some kind of, like, I'm guessing there was more than one person. I'm guessing there was, it was more than just me and the guy. I feel like there was some kind of, like, other race of people who, I don't know, they came along, they built the houses, and then maybe they died, because... I think maybe they got turned into zombies, because there's a lot of zombies that just kind of roam around like a chicken with their head cut off. Uh, maybe they all got turned into zombies, like mass, kind of like a mass massacre. Mass massacre. Yeah, that's English. Uh, but maybe they all died and they became zombies, and now it's just me and Kyle the Guide and uh, Louis the Merchant. Yep, there's a zombie. Speak of the devil. Uh, I still don't know what that plant does. I'm afraid to mine it in case I can't put it back down. Because I kind of like the plant. It looks really cool. And I'm going to be honest. These caves, they're amazing, but they're a nightmare to get around. But now that I have the jump boost thing, it's less of a hassle. Like, see, there's the house. And it makes me wonder, like... I mean, the houses are really, really good. Those houses are... Like, they're way better than anything I could build. So, where did the people go? Uh, and as you can see, I'm kind of roaming around. I think I'm trying to get back over there to get some more cobwebs. Um, and I got stuck. I mean, I wish that there was, like, a, uh, light source that you could place down. Yep, there go all the torches. And I feel like the moral of this story is... Place down your, uh, all your, uh torches before you start uh, uh, flinging water everywhere. Uh, and there I am getting the rest of the cobwebs I needed. I think I only needed one more at this point. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, and then I got the rest of the cobwebs I needed. Right there. And I think there was one more. Oh no, I got all the cobwebs I needed. And then I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna mine all these things. These paintings, the gold chest, the chandelier, they're coming with me. I probably should have taken the statues, too. Or would, that, or would that have been too much? Yeah. Those recall potions, by the way, are... They're super handy. They're super important. Like, I can't imagine me playing this game without a recall potion. Because it's like, I'm being swarmed by zombies. Okay, it's time to go. Glug, knock back a potion. And you're teleported safe home. You're teleported safe, and you're away from all the danger. And I'm over here like, why would I need to craft a Chinese lantern? Uh, and I'm over here crafting the uh, cobwebs I needed into... Crafting the cobwebs I needed into the... Uh, crafting the cobwebs I needed into the silk, and then putting the wood and the silk into the crafting table workbench thing. I don't know. I'm getting this game confused with Minecraft a lot, which I guess, I guess really isn't that hard because they're both like building games with like a pixely aspect. And this was the point where I realized that I couldn't craft the bed. I needed another kind of material. Um, I needed another kind of crafting station called a sawmill and yeah there it is I'm coming right up next to it uh, there's the sawmill I needed to craft that before I could craft the bed which is kind of annoying like I wish there was just some kind of like all-in-one crafting table like you place it down and you have access to the universe um, but, uh, I mean, I guess if that was the case, then this game would become re super easy. I, I gotta be honest, that yo-yo is super handy. Alright, uh, there's me getting the iron I needed. Um, I'm going in, I think this is where I craft the, uh, the sawmill, or I craft it into the, uh, no, I had to craft it into chains, and then I could take the iron, the chains, and the, uh, wood 
turn it into a sawmill, then craft the bed. But, of course, daytime came along and I could no longer test my theory. I mean... <sighs> some circumstances are just out of our control. You make do with what you can, and if you don't like it, uh, suck it up. <laughs> that's that's the best I got. Uh, don't expect me to be like Gandhi and just coming out with all these uh, like deep philosophical things. No, sometimes you just gotta suck it up. Uh, and there's my bed. I'm looking back at this. I don't think it's it's as simple as me slapping a bed down and then taking a little nap. I think you actually have to like have a house. Before you work, before it works, and as you can see, there's me. You, you can actually sleep in it. I think you can sleep and pass over the nighttime, but I don't think it's as easy just slapping a bed down and sleeping. I think you actually have to be in a house. Um, and there's yeah, there's me picking it up because I don't really. I mean, what else am I gonna do with it? Uh, there's me putting it, to, trying to fit it into the little cramped house that I have. Like, I swear, you wouldn't have enough room to breathe. These, these little boxes are so teeny tiny. Uh, they're like New York apartments. But at least New York apartments have bathrooms and kitchens. That's just a box. A wooden box of just... Wood. The wooden box of wood. That's what I'm calling these houses. The wooden boxes of wood. And I think I'm wandering away to kind of... See if I could trigger another NPC to move in. But, it doesn't work. I just, I wander back home, and, yeah, I just wander back home, and I'm like, alright, well, this isn't happening now. It's, it's gonna take a while for her to move in. If the nurse moves in, and if it's a woman. Like, you don't necessarily have to be a woman to be a nurse. There are some guys who are nurses. Granted, I don't know them, but... Uh, oh, um, I think we're coming up on the end of the video. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the, uh, kind of timeline to see how long this video has. It's got, like, uh, it's got one minute left. Because I'm coming close to the end of this. And I'm looking to see, like, NPCs that, uh, could possibly move in. Yeah, and this is kind of interesting. There's a wandering merchant. Which I think is pretty cool. I'm guessing he carries, like, some super insane, like, high-gear, high-end items that I'll probably never be able to afford. Let's be honest. I have one gold coin in my name. One gold coin, few silver, and a couple copper. And that's really it. Alright, we're coming up on the end of the video. I think... Yeah. Alright, so that was Terraria with this super weird voiceover. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you happen to be new here, why not subscribe as it would really help me out. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. See you later!